Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the chi-square distribution with Python. I'm using Jupyter Lab via Anaconda and I'm running a Python 3 kernel, I think it's 3.97. Um, I'll focus on the probability density function which has this scary formula, uh, which uses gamma, which uh, for this particular case looks like this, and the cumulative um, uh, density function for chi-square, which is basically the integral over this one for a specific range. Now, um, I'll simply show how this can be quickly done with um, SciPy, uh, and I'll use as an example my chi-square chi value of 10 and the degrees of freedom of 4, so I'll load those in first. SciPy is probably the easiest method to do all of this. If you've never used SciPy before, you will need to install it once. And then you can load from the side by stats uh, library the chi2 uh, function. And then I can, and it actually has this probability density function, so I can use chi2. And then PDF, given my chi square value and my degrees of freedom, and that simply shows then the result of that. More interesting is probably the cumulative density function. Again, the chi square value and the degrees of freedom and shift enter. Uh, this gives me the probability of a chi-square value uh, of 10 in this case uh, if the degrees of freedom is 4 uh, or less. So it's 10 or less that's actually being shown. That's why it's cumulative. We often actually want 1 minus this uh, so uh, the probability of a chi-square value like this or more because for significance for example you need to have a result as in your sample or more extreme. So with that we can use the survival function and as you might notice this one plus that one equals one. Just to understand a little bit more on this you can use the numpy uh, library, uh, install it first if you've never used it, and uh, pyplot from uh, matplotlib. Uh, I'll load those in so I can make a small visualization of that probability density function, so it looks like this. And we saw earlier uh, our probability density function at 10 would give us 0 0.016, which seems about right. And our cumulative one is actually calculating the area under the curve, so how big this area is. The total area would be under this entire curve would be 1, and this is therefore about 96% of it. Now if you're interested in calculating uh, a little bit more on this yourself, uh, in the workbook, that, uh, in this notebook, I'll upload it in the description below, um, where I'll go over calculating the integral, actually um, using an algorithm, the ACM299 algorithm, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, if you really want to avoid even the math library, there are a few other things you will need to actually work out. Uh, get your own Euler number, uh, define pi, uh, make your own factorial function uh, and your own gamma function. But uh, I'll leave that as a reading exercise from the Jupyter Notebook. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.